that everybody goes around and they say, oh, do we need more science teachers? We need more kids interested in science. Oh, we have jobs going overseas. And how do we increase science literacy? And everybody's trying to break up the problem into these little pieces, thinking that Band-Aids will solve the fundamental disease. The Band-Aids are temporary relief for something that will re continually resurface until the problem that sits below it all is resolved. And I assert that that problem is an absence of ambition of the nation as a spacefaring culture. To Na for NASA to say, we still have ambitions, we're going to Mars in 25 years. No, I'm sorry, that's not ambition. If Kennedy said, we will go to the moon uh, sometime before the century ends. <laughs> what is it? What is that? It's not ambition. That's pandering to the people who want to hear it, knowing that at the end of the day, you don't actually have to do it. So a whole suite of questions and concerns that the scientifically literate community has expressed upon the rest of the nation that is scientifically illiterate. By my read of culture and by my read of history has a simple solution. Make our ambitions in space so tasty, so seductive, so, so enticing that people will be beating down the door to get into the science classroom. That people won't be mindlessly disconnected from the advancing frontier of science and technology because those discoveries will be writ large in the daily papers. That's how you, that's how you, my read of it tells me that that's the most efficient and most effective way to accomplish that goal. Otherwise, yeah, just bring a big box of Band-Aids and keep at it because you'll be doing it forever. <laughs>